Warning, the following show features stunts performed either by professionals or under the supervision of professionals. Accordingly, MTV and the producers must insist that no one attempt to recreate or reenact any stunt or activity performed on this show. I'm Johnny Knoxville. Welcome to the making of Jackass the Movie. Um, let me see this. This is Lance Bangs. He'll be filming the movie, uh, the making of for it. Oh! 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 That sucks. That sucks. Oh, that. Hey. <laughs> um, the movie's pretty much just like the show, only uh, now we get to show whatever we want. You know, now it's just like, all right, it's a movie, we can put in whatever we want, and it's going to be a hell of a lot better. Do the movie, the movie's wild. You can just, you can go buck wild. Well, I, th I think with the movie, it's different than the television show because it's a bigger screen. I mean, every single thing we've set out to do for this whole entire movie has been basically like a quest for deep trouble. And we've found it. A lot. Great, I'm just got bitten by a shark. <laughs> so are you blind or was it all oh, advertising shit. on this? I don't know if I'm blind. I can't Cock see repel. anything right now. Going to the larger format was interesting because none of the guys I don't think has ever touched a camera that large. Um, the lens seems to have <laughs> disconnected from the camera. Okay. I'm the DP, dude. Every time you turn around, the camera guys are like, what's this do? Hey, Rick, it's the red tab right next to the thing. Fuck you, man. If you know how this works, what's going on here, dude? It's the red tab on top. It's not working, me, dude. Like, look, right in front of your belly button. You see a little red thing? Yeah. All right, push in the red thing. What do you think I'm doing right now? And pull the black lever at the same time. If we get a movie out of this, it'll be good. All right. Wait a second. You gotta peel the paint off the lens. The most trouble we really ran into is deciding which film to shoot it on because we you know, we have to test all the different films and then blow it up and see how it looks on the big screen. Well, his ass is like 30 feet high. It's good to know we're gonna have a low quality film. <laughs> <laughs> and wave your arms or some shit. Hey, Kate. Oh, sorry. This is the proper responsible lens. With the camera, when you hold the camera, you're pretty much invincible. Like you think nothing's gonna happen to you. Sometimes it does. for all. You know, the camera guys are there, we let the talent go out, and whatever happens, happens. Why are these cameras trained down there? Oh, I don't need to go on the bus. I was just trying to get changed for a dollar. Uh, for all our incompetence, we work at a pretty high level under these just silly conditions. Hey, Jeff, you heard that? Pops it off. Yeah. He can't run the lights and smoke machine at the same time. So not enough power. Not enough power. We're doing a goddamn Paramount motion picture and we can't put on fog and and lights at the same time. Yeah, he's gonna film some pickup shots with the thing. Starting to squirt. 
That's not too much to ask, man. Fog and lights together at once for a major motion picture. Hey, Jeff. Just fall again? <laughs> All right, it's time to film some audio pickups. <laughs> We're doing doubly. Doubly? Yeah. What's that? Ah! Oh, 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 no. You all right, Loomis? I'm okay. Oh, fuck. Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to slam your head. <laughs> oh, man. How is it sound? This is the mouse trap. I got it again. I'm Aaron McGee, and this is the mouse trap. <laughs> this is the mouse trap. I did it too soon. Yeah, okay. Ready? This is the mouse trap. All right. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? Hi, Hi I'm Aaron McGee. Okay. This is the mouse trap. I already you to say. I'd like to say I have a good time, but I do get grumpy and cranky a lot. <laughs> Pain and humiliation is funny that way. Only a true dork wears three pairs of underwear to keep from getting detanced by a midget. There's a lot of misconceptions about Stevo's cheetah that it's a thong, when actually it's a Brazilian cut. More conservative style in the back, but not in the front. <laughs> I think the biggest misconception is that I have a big penis. <laughs> Well, we started off in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Uh, you and I went up to New York. Then we went to Miami, Orlando, England, Los Angeles, Mexico, and then there's Japan. Just hang, hang out. Hello, Tokyo! Boko no chinko wa chisai. What's he saying? My dick is small. <laughs> These chicks don't like me, dude. Why do you think that is? I don't know. It works in America, but why not in Japan? I thought your world were not. American <laughs> chicks don't even like me, dude. <laughs> Did you know I had a tail? No. I must have taken it from something. Do you want me to pull it out? No, no. <laughs> no, I was in Japan at this stupid Japanese nightclub, and, uh, you know, it was just crazy in there. And the only, like, two hot chicks that I saw, I mean, I was like bugging down with them. Turned out to be dudes, <laughs> you know? There I am trying to buy a freaking dude a drink, you know? And then all of a sudden, like, I don't know. I don't even remember how I found out I was so wasted, but geez, if I didn't find out I was like that close, like, <laughs> you know, like a major intimate encounter with a dude. <laughs> I hate the Pacific Northwest, man. You know, it rains all the time. People don't like to work there. No one wants to live in misery all the day. And then you go there and you go into a bar, everyone hates you because you're on TV. That's why Kurt Cobain killed himself, because everyone was player hating on him, you know? If I lived in the Pacific Northwest, I would have killed myself years ago. So the thing about the fat suit is that it really makes you lose weight. Doing this shit in Florida was the worst mistake ever. 